Welcome to my home. My name is Jackie. I'm going to do a, a lip oil. I bought this off Timu. So, I like it. It has a weird smell to it. Kind of alcohol. You know? I don't know. But, I'm fine with it. You kind of have to put some type of disinfectant when you have a product going on your lips and back into a container. And it looks really good. So today, we have, I don't know how I got so lucky to get an orange bag. Let's see if we can get a thumbnail with this. Wrong way. Let's see. Hmm. I have rearranged a lot of stuff, so I'm kind of wondering what am I looking at? Oh. What's in the camera view? There we go. Get that out of the camera view. Like, what is that? Plastic. Okay, so I have two orders today. So I have two bags. We will see. Where is my cloud? I really like this. I got this from Timu. And it's probably one of my favorite little cutters. Not only is it super sharp, it, um, it's, I don't lose it. And my husband doesn't take it. He takes the other box cutters because he obviously knows it's a box cutter. This is just a cloud. He didn't notice. So here I bought some Bluetooth headphones. Um, I don't know if this is from Le Lenovo, but it says Lenovo and it's packaged with Lenovo. So I'm going to see, I'm going to try to see how these work. Um, made in China, everything's made in China. So I list, as you see in most of my videos, I have headphones. So I'm always listening to YouTube, podcasts, audiobooks, um, always. Well, this is sneaky. Wait till you see what they did. So the outside is this cool orange um, package. Let me show you the inside. White Timu. <laughs> So apparently this order has two packs. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe they forgot to add the other one and threw it in there and wrapped it in another bag. So it only had one shipping. Mm. Let's take a look. What did I order? Oh, yay. This is one of my dresses. I normally don't buy white or cream. But I've been buying, I've been buying a lot of white bags. And I've been really into the white color. And I live in a tropical, subtropical, semi, okay, it's not tropical, semi-arid. In other words, hot and desert-like. So not tropical, but hot and desert-like. Um, and I kept seeing this and seeing this and seeing this. I'm like, I'm just going to get it. I just love the print on this. I love this print. I think it's so pretty. Um... And I wear these things, and I'll post them on my Instagram um, with my outfits. I have to get my husband to take my photos, and uh, he, he's the worst photo taker. He just takes one. I'm like, please take five. You know, the first photo doesn't always look right. Or if my clothes aren't straight, or if I have a handbag on and half my shirt is rucked up, or, you know, try, try. I mean, I'm not too picky about how I look. I look the way I look, you know. So, anyway... Let's see, this little package. Let's try to be an escape artist. These are little, little tinted tiny pearl stud earrings. I know I'm not gonna show you. Um, they're just tiny little pearl stud earrings. All, um, we've all seen a pearl stud earring. Let's see what's in this. Oh, okay, this I want my husband to do for me. When he's very stressed, he loves Legos. And we do all these Lego kits. And up to this time, only one has ever been destroyed by accident but it's a lego right this has been butchered a bit in the mail so as a gift maybe not the best thing to buy as i just want it for me fine i don't care about the box i'm not going to keep the box the box is there to hold the things so my husband will put this together and i will take photos of this at some point this will show up on my instagram um it's just building block kits. It's not the Lego brand. It it's called Botanical Collection Orchids, and that's pretty much it. They're called brick sets or something. It's just plastic, y'all. Plastic. So he will have fun doing that. Um, I have the actual. I think I do actually have the actual Lego branded orchid, but 
things have been disappearing off my work desk. So things don't go to work that I don't mind missing. So I bought the, not the uh, branded Legos building bricks. So if they, someone takes it or it gets knocked over or destroyed, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So this is another brick kit. Now this was supposed to be a gift, but there, I unsquished it. Um, it's a cute sparrow. It's gonna be a gift to me, from me. I'm gonna have James put together first, the little one, and then give him the big one. Um, oh, and this is for my husband. He will be very happy for this because he, he misplaced his other sets. I mean, as, 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 the, as it goes, it's just one of those things people lose, right? And what I liked about this one, he has contacts, so with his contacts, he can wear any glasses. So I got these cool wrap around type of sporty, has um, a strap that says sport, sports, and it has a little cleaning cloth and it's packaged very well. I just got a polarized lens, lens cause when he drives, he needs the polarized lens um, cause we live in this wonderful place called Texas. So he will obviously not have that. And Terminator maybe, what do you think? I can't see anything. Is there a coating on this? Like stickers? Nope. Looks fantastic. Um, and he will he will like these. And I like the I really like the case because um, he's already lost his he's already had to buy he's only had contacts for a month or so. He when he has to do field work, it's a lot easier to not have glasses. And occasionally he has to do field work. So like he was doing field work um, yesterday and he was burnt crisp. I um, mean, he had to buy a new set of sunglasses at the gas station, and it probably cost about four times as much as I paid for those. Um, so anyway, I really love Timu. I know Timu is like the big evil to a lot of people, but um, here's the other package. Let's see what we have here. Um, but I kind of view it like people are like, oh, I would never wear that makeup. Well, here's story time for you. As I told you. I'm Asian and in the 80s, I grew up in Thailand. And in Thailand, we went to a lot of markets, lots of open air markets. Yes, you could go buy L'Oreal, and or not L'Oreal, but you could buy European makeup at the department store, so we had those. But most people bought makeup at the market. And most of those items are all from China. I've been wearing Chinese products forever and ever since I was a kid. Um, and I, and I still do. It doesn't bother me because um, people, we're very litigious in, in America. So they're like, oh, well, well, if something happens and you get, you can sue them. Well, that wasn't a word we knew in Asia, by the way. Suing people, we didn't know that. Um, so this is um, just some dish cloths, but I'm actually gonna use these um, for cleaning my bags. They're leather, they're microfiber. So I guess I should just open them. No, actually, I'm going to leave them sealed. They're just really inexpensive. These are dish scrubbies for my sink. They have an abrasive, slight, slightly abrasive, and then a spongy net side. I use these and throw these away. Or what I learned in Home Ec a long, long time ago, is throw them in your dishwasher when you run your dish cycle and they're clean. Or you can use a little bit of um, bleach and microwave them. Maybe not these ones because of the metal, but like a regular sponge that will kill the bacteria or just have some Clorox. So however you want to do it. Ah, so my friends, I couldn't resist. I already had one and I had to buy a second one because they were so darn cute. And this one just happened to go on, I don't know, a sale. And I just like, I know I have this one. You're like, Jackie, what do you use those for? So I have this one and I put like a little ornament on here. And um, what I have in here, lipstick so that's where i put that lipstick i was wondering why i put that lipstick this is that really bright pink one i wore that looked so good that people liked and um i wanted to wear some more red on film on film the red looks really good and in person i don't wear red because i tend to touch my face all the time which i'm sure you've noticed um so this is gonna put more lipstick in here let's see i had some lipstick to, oh here we go here is a um dior and I have two Dior lipsticks. Now here's the deal, guys. This is a Dior Glow, I think it's called. 
And I got this because everybody said it was awesome. Dior Addict Lip Glow. And then, guys, I bought the L'Oreal. Um, let me show you. Where's my hand? What bag did I use today? Mm, I don't remember. So where? Oh, I put it way over there. Anyway, I got the L'Oreal lipstick. I like it better than that lip glow. That lip glow was like $50. And I don't love it. I really don't love it. I want to love it. I keep wearing it because I keep going, you'll like it, Jackie. Just keep using it. I don't love it. I wish I returned it. This Dior Addict, this one, I love this one. I love this one. This one, I don't love it. And you know what? After buying all these Timu lipsticks, I'm just getting my lipstick off Timu. Seriously. I, uh, for the amount of money I've spent on lipstick in my lifetime, it is somewhat ridiculous, ridiculous that I still spend a huge amount of money on lipstick because I never, I am, I admit it, I'm overly privileged. I wear lipstick and I don't finish them and I get tired of them and they expire before I'm done with them. Like, look at this one. This is one, I mean, I've worn it one time, one time so far. That's why every time I do a video, I try to put it on and I do wear them at work, but not all the time just when I think about it. Not, not for as many as I have. This is a cute little toy truck set I bought for my nephew. He's three. Um, I love getting him these things. I want him to use these for as long as he's interested because at some point he won't want to anymore. So right now while he thinks cars are still cool, he's getting cars, you know. So let's see. Oh, I got Twilly. I have this one already and I liked it so much I wanted to get it. There's a bag I bought. It's on that bag. Let me grab that bag. And it matched so perfectly. But the first time I had purchased this, I only had bought one. I don't know why I only bought one. And then, because I normally like to buy these in pairs. Let me grab that bag. It's right behind me. Um, Ta-da! So this bag. I love this bag, by the way. Um, it has this. Uh, so I put this Twilly on this side. And on this side, I didn't have a matching Twilly, so I just threw a Twilly. And I don't like these ones as much because these ones tend to, these are silkier. You can tell they look silkier. Because they're silkier, they shift more. And because they shift more, I constantly have to retie them, and that's annoying. Now, this is one of those few bags I will use a Twilly, or scarf, or bandeau, or whatever you want to call these. And um, you start from the middle, okay? And you, and, and I know it's because dial, dial in for style. She did a short on this. She used to work at um, Louis. And uh, so she showed me how to do this, how to tie a bandeau on her speedy. I'm like, oh, that's how they do it. And I always have it come out even. No wonder. You know, because I always start from one to the end. And then it was always uneven. And I have to go adjust it. And then she says, no, 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 start from the middle. I'm like, oh, fine. That's so simple. Yet so difficult. So I get down to here. And I just kind of do this and normally like that and then do the same thing on the other side. Normally I still kind of mess up with one side or the other, but am I neurotic about it? Not really because I will just do it and retie it again because it's just a scarf, guys. But it's really here to protect the handle from my oils from my hand because I do lotion, use lotion all the time. I use hand sanitizer. This is a light colored leather. And light colors le leather will darken if you do that. So this side I'm going to tighten up because it needs to be. And there we go. So this bag is ready to go. Let me pop it right back into its handy dandy little bag. Um, light color bags I do put in their dust bag because these will transfer. They will contact um, transfer. And this goes right there. And okay, next, next. Oh, wait a minute, wrong bag. That one's already empty. This one. Okay, what else do I have in here? Oh, okay. I've been down the rabbit hole. I blame a few people for my obsessions. Actually, mostly my mother. Because um, my very, 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 very first ever de um, designer bag was actually Gucci. My mother gave me her Gucci. And, um, we don't have it anymore. I threw it away just a couple of years ago because it had been destroyed. It was stored in a storage unit for years and years and years. And uh, there's a few little things in there, but let's take this bag out. And this is just a, this is not a Gucci, guys. It's from Timu. Um, so Timu does not sell Gucci. 
you know this is a inspired i would actually say this pattern is more of a celine slash gucci kind of this is actually more of a celine um vintage celine look more than the gucci look and it's not either it's just a, a repetitive pattern um all polyurethane it comes with this really cool it came with um air paper which i appreciate and it's actually really good quality canvas this is a much better this is a much better bag than the first canvas bag i purchased um so yeah is anyone gonna think it's gucci no is anyone think it's celine no way but they're gonna say that's a pretty bag you can see the inspiration you know where the inspiration comes with i'm going to enjoy this bag this is the bag i like to put in my car throw things in ignore if it stays in the heat it stays in the heat sink or swim survival of the fittest there and um i can take this shopping and um put extra stuff in this is not quite big enough for a shopper tote for me but i do enjoy these bags i'll probably actually switch out and use this bag for tomorrow because although i'm not doing anything tomorrow hmm maybe i'll find something to do okay continuing on oh i got some more i've recently been purchasing some green bags and i wanted to get some green colored twillies with white and I think that's a fantastic. And of course I bought two because I've learned. Um, these are a little bit more shiny than I want them to be. This is more silky, not as grippy as that other one, but eh, it's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. It says 100% polyester, yeah, which is what they should be. I don't wanna pay for silk. I'm fine with polyester. Um, I bought these for my twin. These are ghosty earrings, aren't they cute? And then um, I bought a belt. It's an elastic belt. Now that may or may not fit. Oh, and this is my part of my cleaning of the bag kit. This is one of those vital things that you don't hear about. If you talk to people who wear leather shoes and have high-end shoes, you use a horsehair brush to clean your leather shoes and polish. Also... You can use these on your leather bags. You can use them on the inside. I use a nylon brush to clean off the inside of the fabric because it's stiffer. I use a horsehair brush to polish, um, to also take off dirt. And one, then you put your conditioner, you're cleaning it, condition it, and then later you buff it with horsehair. And this will get soft. This will help put all of the moisturizer into the little grooves of the leather. And um, so I use one, so I'll get a light color and a dark color, one for dust, one for polish, and then off we go. And these are cheaper on Timu. Anyhow, that is the end of this haul. I really enjoy this. I think it's my favorite thing because I was not, I did not have high expectations. So I am very much happy and, and, and happy with this. This is just one of those knockoff inspired it's not really a knockoff because it's not saying it's anything but if you know you know you're like oh that's obviously inspired by either gucci or celine but most people don't know celine and i'm not sure most people even know gucci to be honest gucci is not the most um known in the area i'm at like mk yes um i see a lot of steve madden a lot of michael kors a lot of calvin klein um or the other brands most of the time i see plastic bags because most people carry bags that are made of polyurethane now and that's just the norm people um don't want a bag that lasts forever they want a bag just for right now and just for right now that's the perfect type of bag to get so anyhow have a great day thank you for watching my video bye